Hi everybody, my name is Roman and it's Marketing Watch House. And today we continue our Google Ads Scripts reporting lesson. This is lesson number two. Uh, I don't actually like to call it the lesson, let's make it just part two. And if you haven't seen my part one, please click on the description below and start there. I know that the first video was a little bit messy and I will try to make this video a little bit slower when we actually can grow through all the details together. So I just remind, remind you where we stopped. We find out that we wanted to analyze the last 14 days. We download this data for account in our JavaScript code. Then we get the, the account total for this period of time, like total clicks, impressions, cost and conversions. We calculate CPA based on that. CPA, for those who doesn't know, it's cost per action, so cost per conversion. And then we also get the click-through rate and CPC. All this data we're going to use to compare each ad group or each keyword data, in this case keyword data, to average of the account. We also get currency. Currency here actually returns us uh, a account property currency like USD and Canadian dollars and Australian dollars. And I also put a space before that, so when I have the number like 15 45 dollars i don't want to make it like that i want to make it space dollars so it will be much easier to have a look on later in google sheets so here we push all this data in an array so we can have a look on this and that's okay let's just skip it for now and keep it like that and then we continue again for those who doesn't know this is sublime editor and i prefer to type something in it so what I want to do, I want to get the account keyword report. To get the account keyword report, first I need to analyze what columns I'm going to use. Let's start with a predefined like columns I defined to you, and then I will leave the link to you where you can actually have a look on uh, how it actually works. Uh, so the report we're going to use is a keyword performance report, and here it is. And here is the whole list of all attributes, segments, and metrics you can get in the report. Doesn't actually me doesn't actually matter for us if it's an attribute or segment or metric right now. So I'm just going to take uh, values from here uh, and put them sorry here and put them in our array of columns. So I'm going to use a campaign name, also add group name. Uh, criteria, for those who doesn't know, criteria is actually stands for keyword or anything else that can be a, a, a targeting method like audience or whatever, whatever else, like, I don't know, interest. So for, in this case it's going to be keyword that I need clicks as a metric, I need cost of the keyword for past 14 days, and I also want to see cost per conversion okay now we have all the columns I also wanted to understand which filters I want to use so it's going to be another array conditions and then I'm going to use two filters conditions conditions dot push I wanted to get the data for all the keyword for past 14 days where cost was more than zero because I don't want to analyze anything um, Actually, not the zero. I want to get the keywords that spend more money that is average cost per conversion for this account. Because if I get, uh, if average cost per conversion is $30 and I get the keyword that spent $10, it doesn't actually make sense for me to analyze this because he hasn't spent enough money yet. So what are we going to do? We're going to do to say cost more than um, average CPA. The thing is, if you get the cost and go to description here, let's find it, um, here it is, it will say that cost is the money amount in micros. And micros is actually a very, very small thing. So to make it normal amount, we're going to multiply it by 10 uh, in a power of 6. So it's power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I'm going to say, okay, that's enough. I just wanted to make it a string value because here on the left is a string and on the right is actually 
a number. I think the Google, the um, JavaScript will convert it automatically, but just to make it to be on the on the safe side, you know. And then another condition I want to use conditions is I want to see the keywords that the actual average cost per conversion is at least two times higher than average of the account. So what I say, I say cost per conversion is higher than, then, by the way, plus here, I copy this, paste it here, and also multiply it by two. So this is just average cost per conversions in dollars, and this is two times bigger amount of money. So now what we need to do, we need to make uh, the query for this into Google Ads reporting. To do that, we're going to use AdWords query language, which is going to be soon replaced with uh, Google Ads query language, but right now it's not available. So this language is actually containing this syntax. It's select something, something, let's just uh, some something, from uh, from a uh, report name um, where some conditions and then during time period so it's very easy I wanted to select campaign name ad group name criteria clicks cost and cost per conversion from what from from report name which actually is here a keyword performance report and I'm going to copy this from another report another script already finished then where where these two conditions are correct where the cost is higher and cost per conversion is higher than something and then during time period so my time period is actually time period here on the very top last 14 days then the only thing I need to think to finish is to select something to change it to actual string because here I have an array and I also need to change the condition to a string because here again I have an array. So what we're going to do, we're going to say columns, sorry, columns string equals uh, columns dot join comma space. What does it mean? It does it, This function will actually take each value of array like campaign name and ad group name and will join them in one string and put these in between. So we're going to have campaign name, comma space, ad group name, comma space criteria, comma space clicks and so on and so on and so on. And the same thing we're going to say to do with the conditions. I'm going to say conditions string equals conditions dot join the only difference that when we do have two conditions we don't put the comma there we put and there so it's going to be uh, cost more than 10 and cost per conversion more than 10 let's just to be on the safe side we're going to put it in the console so we can see log your log is column okay, column string and then log your log condition string here we replace something so what we're going to select we're going to select our columns names so it's going to be column string and here where some conditions we're also going to replace this with condition string the cool part here is that if I wanted to add something else here, for example, I wanted to add impressions, impressions, I don't need to rewrite the query or do something else because this will automatically add a new column to my report. So this is a very, very nice way of constructing a report, making two arrays, work with them, and then make another string that actually going to combine everything together. One more thing I need to check if everywhere I have a space. Yeah, here is space, here is also the space, 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 everything looks correct. So the next thing we need to do, we need to ask Google to give this report to us. To do that, we're going to create a new variable report equals to adds app again, and then there is a function report where we need to construct this SQL query. In our case, it's in the variable 
a w q l and then we say just rows it will return me a way to iterate through all the rows so the by after i call rows have all the data is already in my javascript in a re report variable so to do that to check if it actually works we're going to do logger.log and say here is your data and while we do that i'm also going to create another variable total bad keywords equals to zero and then we're going to iterate through this so while report has next do this uh, row equals report dot next so we're going to get the next row and then we're going to say logger dot log and then row I think it would be enough uh, to push it like that yeah I think it would be okay and then I'm going to say that total bad keywords plus equals one in the very end logger dot log total keyword total bad keywords plus total bad keywords dot two string again because it's a number so this should work let's go to my account and check what mistakes I have in my code it's okay always to have mistakes it's absolutely normal it's abnormal if your code is actually compiling correctly from first try it usually never happens to me okay we have an error on the line 53 so let's go there and check the conditions in the query are incorrect so what we do we actually uh, do logger.log then we say show me the query sorry wrong place preview oh, okay that's my mistake that's very easy because here I use column string and I need to actually use condition string small misspell let's preview again I hope it will work now okay total bad keywords is actually zero that means that I don't have such uh, keywords in my account for last 14 days let's try last 30 days and push preview here I have one one keyword that actually satisfies my requirements so the script actually works I just have a very good account with a test data uh, that is not the best place to test it but I also tested on some of production accounts that I'm not allowed to show on YouTube but anyway let's stop here right now we have a report we have an array that contains all the keywords from our account that have more that has bigger cost per conversion than average twice bigger than average for account and that has enough cost to be analyzed uh, from this point of view thank you very much for watching subscribe to this channel leave your comments and questions below and continue watching and next step we're going to actually finish the script and build the email from it